2023 has been the greatest year of my life so far. I want to start by saying the birth of my son Judah was by far the best thing to happen to me in 2023. Now with that said, the young lad is definitely beating me out of house and home. In 2023, we got to do what we love to do as a family, and that's go to Florida again for an entire month. My future self and 401k may hate me for this, but you cannot beat going to Disney World for the very first time, watching your kids experience that, and then also just being on the beach and being in the sun for an entire month. I mean, it really gets us out of our comfort zone as a family, and I think we're better because of it. In addition to going to Florida, I would say the second best thing about 2023 was the fact that we found a church. Let me tell you, after looking for a church for almost three years, having a place you can finally call home is one of the best feelings. We didn't just attend church in 2023, we got involved in church. I mean, I got baptized this year, our sons got dedicated this year, we joined a small group in spring with the pastor of the church. I mean, we got involved in something really awesome, and honestly, it finally feels like we're home. I also don't want to minimize this, but in addition to all those things at church, my wife was also on the Victory Church podcast. And I think hearing her testimony on there was one of the coolest things of 2023. If we really think back on 2023 as a family, I think that one of the things that came from this year is that we really value family time and travel. And honestly, with 12 weeks of parental leave, you spend a lot of time together and you really start to think about what does it really mean to be a family? I also wanna note when I say that we traveled a lot, I actually mean a lot. We did two weeks in New York at our cabin. We did two times at Cape Charles. We did Cape May, we went to the Poconos. We did a lot of traveling. And that doesn't even include the two camping trips me and Gabe went on this year. Why does all this matter? Why does it matter why we travel, we have all this family time, all these different things? I think it really helped us understand where our values and priorities are. And so that leads me into the next part of 2023 is I finally started a business. I mean, the future looks bright going into 2024 and we're ultra excited about it, but honestly, all of 2023 is not about just me. My wife Ashley and her stroller gang became a legitimate nonprofit in 2023. And I just wanna say how proud I am of her for the lives that she's changing in the women around us. Stroller gang has turned from something that was just a hobby and a hangout time with some women into a legitimate group where women can come and hear the gospel. And honestly, I could not be more proud of my life. So the future couldn't be more bright going into 2024. I look forward to seeing where our business goes, what our family time looks like, our next trip to Florida, all of the memories that we're gonna make. And honestly, I couldn't do any of it without my amazing wife and both my kids. Love you guys. Here's to 2024.